Hello Libra, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about. That is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. I am running a special for you. It is a person on your mind recorded video reading for 2222. And everything that you'll need to know is posted on the community page for you. Tomorrow is the last day to get your orders in for the special. All right, my loves, let's take a look at the person on your mind, their energy towards you and where it looks like it could be going. Libra. We're starting off with some oracle cards and then jumping into your tarot. You have the blood trail, magnificence. And then we have prying eyes. Someone has your someone has their eyes on you. Now I kind of feel like uh, this has been coming out a lot. Uh, I feel like this card has been coming out a lot today. All right, my loves. So this prying eyes, someone has their eyes on you and this magnificence. You know, somebody here could be seeing you just really shining or really glowing here, okay? Now, this could be a new person who's maybe around you who is very interested in you. Uh, for others of you, maybe it's a past person who is just seeing you uh, doing really well, seeing you looking really good. But I definitely feel like this person has not make that made themselves known. Uh, so for some of you guys, they could be trying to hide the fact that they are, because I can notice this person's kind of like peeking out behind the tree. They could be trying to hide the fact that they're, you know, watching. Maybe they could be watching from a friend's profile or something like that if you have them blocked. Or if this is a new interest, maybe they just haven't expressed to you how they feel. They haven't let you know that they're interested. We have I Want You. And it's too much. We have this too busy winning at the bottom of the deck. So whether this is a past person who just sees that you're doing better than ever without them, and they're seeing you thriving, seeing you looking good, um, and it's like you don't even notice them, you know, that you're just too busy out here winning. You don't even notice them here. For others of you, this person could just feel like you're too good for them. Um, they could feel like there's no way Libra is even going to notice me or give me the time of day. They just feel like they they're, they just, they think really highly of you. We're going to put it like that. Now with this, it's too much. Like they could want you in a very, very intense way. They could be very, very attracted to you. I'm feeling a lot of uh, sexual desire here. Okay. But let's take a look at the tarot. We're going to look at uh, their, we got the Ace of Pentacles that just tried to fly out. We're going to look at the way they're viewing you, feeling about you, their intentions, the challenge between the two of you, their next actions, as well as the potential outcome. For Libra, the person on their mind for Libra. All right, we have the Six of Cups. the tower. So for a lot of you guys, this is looking like it's a past person. We have the eight of pentacles. Now I still feel like there could be somebody who's interested in you, who does have their eyes on you too, who does want you. Um, some of you guys, I feel like it's both. I feel like there's a past energy here wanting to, uh, you know, come back around seeing you do really well. But for others of you, I feel like there's also, you know, a new interest. We have the high priestess here. The Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And that's their general overall energy towards you. We have the Six of Swords here, the Page of Cups. To me, it's not really feeling dishonest to me right now as their overall energy. I'm not saying this person has not been dishonest to you in the past, but to me, it's feeling very much like tactics. I feel like somebody's trying to figure out how to, trying to figure out, one, if you've already started to move on. They could be wanting to see, especially with this high priestess being the challenge, just like this person's not sure where you're at with things, okay? Um, and that could be another reason why somebody's really trying to watch or somebody's really trying to like find out your business here, okay? So to me, this feels like tactics. Somebody here trying to figure out if you've already moved on or trying to figure out how to get past uh, everything that's happened here with you. And with this, it's too much card. Uh, some of you guys, it may be too much, you know, that's happened, too much has transpired 
to be able to kind of get past with this person. Now we have the uh, Page of Cups here though. So the Page of Cups is, it can be flirty, it can be an apology, but to me this feels like communication. I feel like somebody's trying to find the exact right words to say here. And I definitely feel like somebody wants to make sure that you are single. You know, the Six of Cups here for the their, in the area of their thoughts and how they're viewing you. I definitely feel like somebody is looking back at the past, remembering the good times. It's feeling very nostalgic. It's feeling, um, you know, spending a lot of time on memory lane, just thinking about all the times that you guys have shared together. They could be, they could view you as somebody who is like a soulmate to them. They have the tower in their feelings here. So I do feel like somebody is aware that something has I don't want to say that. Let me let me think of how to say that here. That this tower moment that you guys experience is something that is going to be very difficult to get past. Um, it's really weighing on their heart. So whatever happened here between the two of you, I think somebody thinks about it a lot. Okay, it's feeling very like would have, could have, should have energy. Okay, I think somebody spends a lot of time, especially with that coming out right next to the Six of Pentacles. I think somebody spends a lot of time thinking about what happened between the two of you and how, like, how it all fell apart. We have the Eight of Pentacles here for their intention. I definitely feel like somebody wants to work on things here with you. They feel like this is something that can be fixed if you're both willing to pour into it here. And it almost feels like if I could get another chance then I would give Libra all of my attention. I would give Libra all of my time. I would put all this effort in. We have the High Priestess as a challenge. So I definitely feel like there's just one, there's this energy of the unknown, right? This person doesn't quite know where you're at with things. They don't know if you're going to be receptive. And it's also for you, it's the unknown of, is this something that is a good idea? Is there more to it than I, um, you know, than I know? I feel like you're really being asked to trust your intuition. For some of you guys, I feel like you could beat yourself up because I feel like for those of you where this person has like lied or cheated or something, they did something to bring that tower moment about. I feel like you could really beat yourselves up, Libra, because it's like, I feel like you had intuitive moments um, or your intuition was giving you signs uh, about the situation and I feel like you chose to ignore it. Um, and some of that is because I feel like you just wanted to, you didn't want it to be true and you wanted to give somebody the benefit of the doubt, right? Um, but I feel like some of you guys can be very frustrated with yourself for ignoring it, right? But this is just part of the lessons. It's why we're here, you know? We have the three of swords for their next action. So they could want your forgiveness with this energy. They could. They could be asking for your forgiveness, especially with that page of cups. I, it would not surprise me if you got an apology from this person or a message from this person apologizing and asking for your forgiveness or telling you that they want to heal things here between the two of you. We have the three of cups for the potential outcome. They could want to get together, spend time with you. They definitely want to reconnect. Now, for some of you guys where you're already kind of dating, I definitely feel like this three of swords to this three of cups could be this person finding out um, that maybe what was hidden from them, what they weren't aware of is that maybe you are starting you have already started to move on maybe you are seeing somebody else just take it how it resonates for you but I definitely feel like you can expect to hear from a person now for some of you for some of the for some of you I do feel like there is a new love interest here as well okay I feel like there is somebody here who does have their eye on you I kind of want to take a look at that too over here Yeah, we have the Page of Cups. Could be a younger water sign. Doesn't have to be. We have the Justice card. This person has good intentions. Could be another Libra. We have the Queen of Cups here. Could be Cancer. You know, I really like this because I feel like this is somebody who's very caring, compassionate, understanding, very loving. I feel like this person definitely has a sweet side and they have really good intentions. So for those of you where there is a love interest around you, um, or you, you like you know that somebody's interested in you. Some of you guys, they have not made themselves known yet, but they will. Um, I definitely feel like you have somebody around you here. And you could be hearing from this person soon. They could be making themselves known soon because the Justice card to the Page of Cups to me can be some kind of expressing their truth, expressing how they feel here too. But I think that that looks really positive. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that it helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading, scheduling personal readings, Patreon, the tarot course, all that stuff's in the description box below for you. Information about the sales posted on the community page and 
If you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.